everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. And it's Sunday, so it's another Sunday Sunshine Show with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube, who include myself, uh, Marie from at Busy B Marie, Maria from at Maria Crocker, and Tina from Tina's Talk Time. And as you know, if you've watched us on a Sunday before, uh, we bring you a different topic every week. We all talk about the same thing, but obviously put our own spin on it. So once you've watched my video, you can go across and watch uh, what they've got to say on the topic. And today we're talking about skincare routines. So specifically morning skincare routine and evening skincare routine. Now, I know in my 20s, I didn't have a skincare routine. I think in your 20s, well, back then, I don't think you really cared about the skincare routine routine. I remember coming from a coming in from a night out, you know, if you went out on a Friday night, you had all the makeup on. And in the 80s, the eye makeup was serious. Um, and I'd come in and I wouldn't even bother taking my makeup off at night. You go to bed with all your eye makeup on, lots of blue eyeshadow and mascara and eyeliner, and you'd wake up with it on the pillowcase. Uh, it, it must have done some real damage to your skin, I would have thought. But I probably didn't take notice of me, me skin care, me skin care routine really. Probably until I was fifty. I think I I started to use moisturizer in my thirties, but apart from that, I didn't really do anything specific. I know I haven't used soap and water on my face for quite a long time. That's probably since I was maybe mid thirties to forty. I haven't used soap. Uh, at all on my face. So today I'm going to talk about um, what I do with my face on the morning and what I do with it on the night time. I haven't put any makeup on today so you can actually see what my skin looks like without it. Uh, I don't think my skin is bad for my age. Um, I'm 60 if you didn't know. Um, but I don't know whether that's because of the products I've used or whether it would have looked like that naturally. My nana actually had decent skin and she was 84 um, when she died. Uh, so who knows? Um, I suppose nobody's gonna really know if their face is, if the products they're using is really making any long-term difference, are there? Because you've used it. So, and somebody else's skin is different to yours. But anyway, so the, I'll do I'll do the morning routine first and then we'll go on to the night time. So, a morning routine, I would just use this simple uh, moisturising facial wash. Uh, it's not my favourite, but it's the one I've got at the moment. Um, I don't really stick to the same face wash um, all the time. So I would use that on a morning just to uh, give my face a bit of a wipe over. Just get the, you know, the sleep out of your eyes and things like that. And I would normally use... Um, just a, a microfiber, a damp microfiber cloth, just to take any residue of that off. After I've done um, the, the facial cleanse, I would do a second cleanse with um, some micellar cleansing water. This is a Garnier one. Uh, I use several different ones. It just depends where I am shopping. I'm running out of this one, as you can see. Um, this is quite a nice one. Uh, but uh, like I say, I don't stick to any particular brand with the, the micellar water. So I'll do a double cleanse with this just to take off any of the residue of the um, the simple that I've used. And I use this, uh, I use the cleansing water on a, um, a cotton wool pad. I do have some, what do they call them? Um, they're reusable cleansing pads and you have to wash them. I can't remember what, are they made from bamboo? I think they might be made from bamboo. And then you put them in the washing machine and wash them. But at the moment, I'm using the cotton pads. So I would use the, the micellar water with those. And then I use the, um, at the moment, I'm using the Lacura Healthy Glow Retinal Toner. And I also use that with a cotton pad. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what toner does. I'm just going to put my specs on and we'll have a look what it says. This is multi-action toner, 5% um, niacinamide with retinol and jasmine flower. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. Helps reduce the appearance and signs of skin aging. Uh, the multi-action treatment developed with 
antioxidants will leave skin feeling instantly smoother, softer and moisturised. After just two weeks, skin tone will appear more even, healthy and radiant. I've been using this for quite a few months now. I haven't really seen a great difference. I, I've, I've got to be honest, I haven't seen a difference really. But I do like the feel of this on my skin. It does smell nice and it does make me my skin feel soft. Um, and it does give us a bit of a glow. But I don't know about the help and the signs of aging. But that's what I use after the cleanse. I use the toner. So after the toner, I use a serum. Now, I've been trying a few different serums and I've been using them um, for two weeks and then trying a different one because I had four different ones to use. Now, the first one that I've been using is the Body Shop Drops of Light uh, Brightening Serum. And I think this was about £26 a bottle. Uh, that's the bottle it looks like. It's in a white bottle and it comes with a, like a, a dropper. Uh, so you can see it there. You only need one drop. I put one drop on each cheek and I rub it all over my face. I don't put it on my eyes, um, but I rub it around the rest of my face. And sometimes I'll put it on my neck. Uh, and this is supposed to, I'll just have a look what it says on the box just to tell you. It says, complexion looks brighter, more radiant, and skin tone looks more even. After four weeks, skin imperfections look reduced and pores appear tightened. Skin dullness appears reduced with a more even uh, look and tone. So it seems a lot of products are supposed to do that. Um, so yeah, I've been using this, I'd say, for about two months, this one. And then I picked up this box which was only 4 99 for three. I picked this up in B&M and it said Skin Boosting Serums and it had three different serums in it. It's got a niacinamide serum. It's got a vitamin C serum and it's got the hyaluronic acid serum. Now I've used all three of these for two weeks each to see what the difference was. Now I did ask somebody, and I'm not sure if it was my daughter I asked, because she is a beauty therapist. I said, what is the difference between an, a serum that costs £26 and a serum that comes in a box of three for £4.99? And she said, the ones that are £4.99, the um, ingredients will be diluted. So it won't do as, it won't penetrate as much um, as the one that's more expensive. That does make sense. So they're all supposed to do different things. The niacinamide is supposed to be um, hydrating serum for... I'll just put my specs on because I can't read it. Hydrating serum for refined, smooth, rejuvenating, rejuvenated and radiating skin. The vitamin C serum says renewing and energizing for dull and fatigued skin for a radiating glow. And the hyaluronic acid serum says anti-wrinkle, long-lasting moisture replenishment for plump and luminous skin. And I've got to be very honest here. All four of these serums, for me have acted exactly the same way. I haven't seen any difference from using the Body Shop one that was £26 and using these three cheap ones that were £4.99 for three. I've seen no difference. I have only used the cheaper ones for two weeks each and I've used the Body Shop one uh, probably for about two months. So I don't know if I would notice a difference if I used one of these cheaper serums for two months um, rather than just two weeks so I don't know but I do like the way they feel on my skin I feel like uh, my skin feels smoother when I use a serum so that's that if you use serums let me know what you think do you think it makes a difference so after the serum the last um, step on me morning skin routine it just it seems quite a lot when I'm talking about it I use the body shop uh, vitamin E intensive moisture cream i do like body shop products i have to say and i really like their moisturizers uh, i've actually i've hardly got any left in this one and it is just a white creamy moisturizer that feels really lovely on your skin it goes on really smoothly doesn't feel sticky um and if you leave it 20 minutes and then you know you put your makeup on 
it it is a nice base for it. it smells it smells absolutely gorgeous i will be buying another pot of this i can't remember how much it was actually 15 pound maybe 10 pound something like that but i really do like it so i will be buying another one and I do like the vitamin E. I do have dry skin, uh, so I feel like I need some really moisturising stuff to, to put on. And I found the vitamin E works really well. I have read somewhere, um, again, I can't remember where it was, but I did read that the, the moisturiser you buy is less important than the serums in the, the cleansers um, because they work more deeply into your skin whereas the moisturizer kind of sits on top of it all i don't know how true that is but it kind of makes sense so that was the body shop um moisturizer i have actually just recently picked up the Lacura moisture boost i just picked this up yesterday uh we'll just see what this says on the on the box hydrating gel moisturizer with aloe vera and green tea extract smooth um softens and plumps up fine dry lines so i thought because i was nearly at the end of the body shop moisturizer i might give this one a try i have used a gel moisturizer from uh, aldi before and i quite liked it but again with aldi shop uh, with aldi Lacura products they don't stay in stock very long and you can't you know repurchase them uh, i'm just going to take the silver the silver thing off the top of there um so that's what that looks like uh like i say i haven't used it yet it does feel very smooth on my skin i did feel the last one i bought i think it was a a watermelon one i felt it was a little bit drying on my face it doesn't have any strong smell to it, but it does feel nice on my hand. Um, so I'll let you know in a future video what I think of the uh, the Lacura gel, moist, mo gel moisture boost. So that's the daytime routine. So after that, I would um, then put my makeup on. If you want to see a video I've done of me, put my makeup on. So I've done some get ready with me videos. I'll put some links below uh, to those just in case you want to see what I do put my makeup on. So on a night time, if I've had makeup on through the day, I take my makeup off with the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Makeup Cleansing Butter. Uh, and this is the best makeup remover I've ever used. I've been using this for about, I'd say five years now. I'm out of breath. I've just had to run up the stairs to get it because I forgot it. Um, it's about £13 a tub. It probably lasts us maybe six weeks and it looks like that. It looks like a solidified coconut oil. It's um, quite firm inside until you start rubbing it on your skin. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a very creamy balm and you just rub it on your skin and it melts into your face. And it actually, it melts the makeup. It, it seems to melt the makeup off your face. I really, really love this. I can't recommend this highly enough if you're looking for a cleansing balm. Absolutely love it. So I would rub that all over my face with my makeup on, even on my eyes, on my mascara. I'll massage it into my eyelashes, massage it into my eyes where I've had the eyeshadow. Just massage it all over my face for a couple of minutes. And then again, I get the microfiber cloth. I dampen it. So I'll, I'll put water on it, dampen it, and then... I clean all of the balm off with this and it takes all the makeup off with it. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. Really, really love it. It doesn't sting my eyes. It doesn't sting my face. Um, it takes, I'd say it takes 98% of my eye makeup off in practically one, one swipe. Brilliant. I also, after I've used the cleansing balm, I do use the micellar water again with a cotton wool pad um, just to take any residue off, just to take any mascara that is left. There's not usually very much. I'll maybe have maybe one speck on the cotton pad, if that. Uh, so I do use that again after the cleansing balm. I don't use toner at night. I only use the toner on the morning because it does say on the bottle, um, 
I think it says morning or night, but don't use it both times. I don't know if that's the same with all toner, but it certainly is with the liqueur. So then after I've done the double cleanse with the, the micellar water, I use a serum again. And this serum I do really love, and I did see a difference with this. And this, again, this is a Body Shop product. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum and Oil. Again, it's in, it's in a little pink bottle, and um, like the other serum from the Body Shop, it's got a dropper with it, and it, this is a slightly thicker, I mustn't have much left in here because I can't see it coming out. It's a slightly thicker liquid because it is in oil, but it's not too oily. Um, it's, I know some face oils feel like, you know, you've sprayed your face with coconut oil, but this one doesn't. Again, I just put one drop on each cheek and I massage it into my face. I don't put it on my eyes. Um, I kind of go around here. I don't put it right under my eye and I don't put it on my eye, just on the rest of my face. And I'll also put it on my neck. And that is really, really nice. When I first started using this, probably about three or four years ago now, I did notice a difference in my skin. It it kind of made my skin smoother um, and brighter. Don't think it reduced any fine lines if it says it does that, but I did see a difference in the in the I would say the texture of my skin. Um, again, I do have dry skin. It may be different if you don't have a dry skin, if you've got an oily skin or something like that. That might not work the same way. Uh, so do you know read the labels before you buy them. I'll leave the links to all these products in the description box below. Some of them, the Body Shop ones, I do have affiliate links before. So if you clicked and you bought through the affiliate link, I would earn a very small commission. Um, but obviously you can just go to Google and, and Google it or actually go in the Body Shop and buy stuff. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend the Vitamin A Serum. Sometimes if my skin is feeling um, like it needs some extra moisture, I will put the uh, Vitamin E, the Body Shop Vitamin E. This is not an advert for the Body Shop, by the way, <laughs> but I do tend to lot of use a lot of Body Shop products. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Sinking Moisture Sleeping Mask. So I'll just put that on top of the serum. I don't do that every night, just maybe once a week or something. If my skin is feeling like it needs something. Or occasionally I'll leave the Vitamin E, vitamin e drops out and I will just put this on just depending on, on how I'm feeling. But this is like a jelly, a, like a jelly, a creamy jelly texture. Um, you can see it there. And again, it feels really, really lovely on your skin. I just massage it in. Again, don't put it on my eyes. I don't put any products around here or on my eyelids. I don't put any skincare products there. I very rarely use eye creams, eye gels. My daughter, who um, who I said is a beauty therapist, she once told us that you don't need to put eye cream on because your moisturiser that you put from here is kind of drawn up into the skin around your eyes, so you don't really need an eye cream. So I, I have used them in the past, um, and I do have some, you know, in 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 me uh, in my bedroom and my collection of skincare products. But I very rarely use them. I just don't feel the need to use them. But I do like this sleeping mask. Again, it makes your face feel really smooth um, and brighter looking in the morning if you use it. Can't remember how much these were. I think this was about twelve pound. But um, yeah, highly recommend those. Occasionally. Uh, I will use this that I got. I got this a couple of years ago in a beauty subscription box. Excuse me. And this is called Dr. 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 Botanicals. And it's called Poe Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. And it's in a little tube. I can get it out of the box. I think I've nearly used all this up. It's in a little tube. And it's very... It's like a creamy, let's try and see if I can get some out. Just like a creamy texture and you would, oh, I'll really put it on my face because I've got no makeup on. And it does feel like it's like it's drying, like a face mask. Um, you know, when you put like a creamy face mask on, it does feel like it's drying into your skin like a face mask would. So I, I do put, you know, not tons, but more than that, I would put on. Make sure my face is covered in it again, not my eyes. 
um, and it does feel like you've got a, a face mask on, but it dries on your skin, so it's not going to come off on your pillows or anything like that. And you leave that on overnight and then, um, you know, wash it off in the morning, cleanse it off with your, your whatever cleanser you use. And that does tend to make my face look a little bit brighter if I'm looking, you know, if my skin's been looking a bit drab through the winter when you don't get a, enough sunlight. Um, but yeah, I really did like that one. So I would definitely buy that again. So that is my morning and evening skincare routine. The only other thing that I would use is occasionally I'll use an exfoliating um like wash on my face i don't have one at the moment and i picked up this lacura weekend mode exfoliating mask so i'll be interested to see what this is like because sometimes i feel like your skin just needs it feels like it needs a bit of a scrub you know just to get the well not dirt really is it it just sometimes you feel like you need that extra that extra deep clean so i thought that might be useful um to use if anybody's used that let us know in the comments what you thought of it uh, I'd be quite interested to know. So, like I said, that is my skincare routine. Skin care routine. Do you use any of these products? Is there any products that you use that you think uh, I might be interested in? Do you use really expensive products? Because I do, I do find it interesting. You know, not everybody wants to buy the same the same price range of products. I have got, you know, I've got a big range of um, stuff here from. Um, you know, Aldi Lacura stuff that is, you know, really, it's cheap. Um, and what I would call more expensive body, body shop products is £26 for a serum. But I know there's people out there who use products that are like £100. I would like to know what the difference is. You know, is there a big difference? I know when I've been for a, on a spa day like I went for recently and they use more expensive products on your skin. Your skin feels great after you've, you know, you've had the facial but would I feel the same if I gave myself a, a similar facial with all my products? I don't know, but it's interesting. I, I don't have the money to try the really expensive ones, so maybe I'm never going to know. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you found that interesting. I do find it interesting to know what people use on their skin. I think especially when you get to, you know, 50, 60, you want to know people's secrets, you know, what do you, what do you use? Um, so I'd be really interested to see what Marie, Tina and Maria are all using on their skins. Because like I say, we do, you know, we talk about these topics that we're going to um, talk to you about, but we don't actually go in depth about what each of us are going to be doing in the video. Uh, so it's always a nice surprise when we watch it ourselves on a Sunday. So do go across and watch um, Busy Bee Marie, Maria Crocker and Tina from Tina's Talk Time and see what their skin routines are. Next Sunday is a, um, it's to do with autumn deco. Uh, so do you decorate your house for autumn? Uh, do you just decorate part of your house? Is it just your table you might do an autumn deco thing on? So if you want to come along next Sunday and have a watch and see what kind of things we do in our, our house at autumn, um, that should be fun. So that's everything I've got for you today. Uh, I'll see you next week. So bye for now.